Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com and welcome back to our brand new series called Crisis Proof Your Practice. This is for those of you who are uh, looking for you know, innovative and creative and um, out of the box ideas for building your brand during difficult times. And certainly as I record this in May of 2020, we are going through some quite unusually difficult circumstances. All right. So in this video walkthrough, I'm just going to show you how to use Podia to uh, create your first product. And in this case, I'm actually going to make it super duper simple because I know that many of you are finding the idea of creating a product in general, uh, you know, challenging to a degree that it's leading to it not getting done. I mean, to procrastination and just putting it off and ultimately leaving a lot of your best ideas on the proverbial table. So we're going to do this in what I think is the absolute easiest way possible. And that is creating a drip email sequence product. All right. This could be a course. It could be a digital download. It can be anything you want. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to do using the Podia platform. And if you want to see our uh, Podia uh, website, this is for mindfulmarketplace.com. You can go to partners.mindfulmarketplace.com. All right. So in this case, we're going to create an online course and I'm going to call this uh email marketing course for demo purposes all right create the course and then you can design the course here and this is where you actually let's show you what you can do here so you can categorize it you can actually create the enrollment date you can close and open enrollment you can add a start date let's say this starts on i don't know may 16th at 10 p.m which is today's the 12th i believe so that would be this weekend and again i'm just kind of showing you some of the features that are available you can close enrollment after a certain amount of people um, you know, sign up or after uh, a, a certain time. I don't really use that feature much. So I'm going to actually toggle that off just in case it messes anything up here. You can add categories. As you can see here, here are some of the existing categories that we have. And all of this, I believe, is auto saved. This Some of Podia you have to actually save manually, but lots of this stuff, I believe, is just being saved on the fly. You can now look at the sales page, which is going to be generally nothing, right? I mean, we just created the basic shell of the course, right? Right now, it, there's no charge for it. And this is just the default landing page until you start to customize, which you do. And we're not going to, we're not going to actually go through that because that's not, you know, really relevant to this part of the setup. But, you know, the, the, the um, design elements of Podia are all done from this, or actually the edit store uh, tab. And there you can edit all of your courses. You can, you know, create banner images and the different sections. And, and you know, you, you can essentially design the landing page around your needs. All right, let's just say this is going to be a $99 course. We can make three payments of, let's say, $34. And you can make upsells there, et cetera, et cetera. Let's preview it again. Again, I'm just showing you stuff that you don't even really need to see at this point, but that just gives you an idea of the pricing tab. All right, now let's go into the the drip piece, which is the important. Actually, it, let's we're going to set this now to pre-launch. So now you can collect names, and now you should be able to preview it. Let's look at the sales page, and you'll see an email opt-in form right here. 
All right, so the price points have disappeared. And this is where you'd actually start sending the emails that would announce your course, right? Let's go back to email. And I'm going to show you how to set up a drip course associated with that specific new course, which we have scheduled to launch this weekend. All right, so we're going to choose a trigger. And the trigger is going to be, let's see, I'm going to find that. And there it is. Got so much shit here to navigate through. My eyes are bad and it's late and I haven't left the house in 16 months. All right. So now the trigger that we just set is email marketing course for demo purposes, which we just created and set to be in the pre-launch phase. And now all you're going to do is add emails. So email one would be set i would actually set this to zero so it goes out immediately and now the subject line is going to be Okay, so it says, is this the best Podia demo ever? Don't answer that. My feelings get hurt easily. That goes out immediately on sign up, right? So when someone signs up for your course and pays that $99, this is, or the $34, this is actually the, in, the email that goes out instantly, right? So this goes out on purchase. Then you can add another email. And this would be sent one day after the trigger event. So you can actually send this, let's say, the next day. And it would say this is day two. And here is some useful information you'll need to succeed. All right. And then you'd put the body here. And as you can see, as we scroll down, you have you know, the name token here, right? So this would input the person's name that they added. Uh, if you have their name, uh, I think actually Podia now, this is relatively a more recent uh, inclusion in their email marketing functionality. I think in the last maybe four or five months, they started doing this, maybe the last three months. But this is a pretty, you know, it's, it's a great and pretty standardized convention in email marketing where this name token actually inputs the customer or client's name. So it would say, in this case, hey, Ian. And even if you don't capture the name with the form that you're using, Podia just uses the name that the folks used for their uh, account, which makes it even that much easier. So you don't even have to put the name field in your email marketing, um, you know, in your your lead generation, your lead capture page. All right, so then this would say, this is the day two content. Here is a lesson you'll love. All right, and then you turn this on, and then you add day three, et cetera, et cetera. You don't need me to walk through the whole thing, but you would just continue to add your content day after day, exactly like this, turning this stuff on. All right. And then you're just actually filling this in. You know, the best practice, in my view, is to write out this content in advance. So you have actually all of your your automated sequence that is going out without any manual intervention. Once it's written, I write this out actually pretty much longhand. I don't do it this way in the you know, I'll, I'll, I'll write it out, uh, you know, pressing my you know, my, my, my hand to a pen and paper, I find it easier to write good emails or, 
you know, emails that folks tend to enjoy more than doing it this way, but you can do this obviously any way that works best for you. And the important thing is when you go back to, actually, we got to make sure that's being sent. Again, I think this all auto saves. And there are, there are also some really good best practices with regard to subject lines that I'm going to include in uh, this course. So, you know, things that tend to uh, convert better or at least convert into better open rates. And I have a whole bunch of those that uh, I think you'll find super helpful if you're, you know, looking to have your emails opened, which obviously all of us are. All right. And when you go back to number one, you got to make sure this is turned on. And the entire sequence needs to be turned on too, and you do that up here. Okay, so now that is published. And essentially what you're looking at here is a email drip campaign that is triggered on this new course we just created in the last like three minutes or 10 minutes or however long I've been recording this. And this will go out, right? Ad infinitum in perpetuity, you know, as long as people are signing up for that product, as long as that product stays up or as long as that course stays live and you can keep on adding emails. So I could, I have sequences like this that are literally 30 days, 60 days long that, you know, I have, that I created years ago that people are still signing up for today. And you know, they get messages from me literally every single day that I do nothing to facilitate, right? So it's just, it it is the quintessential autopilot, um, you know, content marketing, community building, rapport, relationship, uh, facilitating strategy. All right. And this is now going and you can actually look at the report. Now, obviously no one has signed up for this yet. And this is going to be a uh, course that I'm going to delete in a couple seconds as soon as this video is complete. But you could just get a sense of, you know, all of the uh, meaningful metrics in that last box. And I would just change the campaign name. All right. And as you can see, that's going to change this here. And there you have it. Okay. And it's really that simple. You do not need to do anything uh, more sophisticated than exactly that. Right. And I'll show you one other thing, which is let's see. What did I call that? A test of. Nope. That's not it. Let's go back. I totally forget what I called that already. All right, so obviously this ain't the slickest part of this video, but I just want to show you, this is where you edit your landing pages, right? So here is, let's just use this one for simplicity. This is something else that I did a demo on God knows when, but this is where you would edit. So this is what this page looks like. It's another pre-launch page that I did for demo purposes. And here's how you edit it, right? So here's the product banner, which is here, table contents below. You have all these different things that you can goof around with. And I'll show you, if I want to move that out, you do that there. All right, you edit the sort of sub head there. You can change the color scheme, add a background image, and you can really build out your entire landing page in some really cool and creative ways. I've done a bunch of videos on this already, so I'm certainly not gonna do another one here, but if you want to see how to, you can turn things off and on, as you can see that disappeared. 
You can even, I don't think you can turn this off because it's the, you know, most salient piece of the page. But all of this here, you can just add text. It's just very cool. I mean, right? As you can see, you can you know move the alignment around, and you can really build these out in some really um, pretty ways. Like you can really do some aesthetically pleasing design conventions with Podia that require no coding knowledge, no anything other than a you know a creative imagination and uh, you know 10, 15 minutes to explore and expand. So. Yeah, I mean, that's really the nuts and bolts of everything you need to start teaching something that you know well on Podia and doing it in the next 15 minutes. Again, our affiliate link for Podia is below. Uh, if you sign up for that uh, using our link, feel free to send an email to hi at mindfulmarketplace.com, and I will add you uh, to a, a new uh uh, you know, a, a, an audio series that we have available for folks who are also using Podia in our community on optimizing and, and improving and converting more strangers into subscribers and ultimately subscribers into sales. So I hope that's been helpful. Again, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com. This has been a quick tutorial on using Podia to sell email courses. And I hope it's been helpful. Thanks so much and have a great night.